I was thinking about making something for the faculty Halloween party for my work. My colleagues would all agree on the MM's theme. I picked my favorite color, orange kind of coral, and used makerspace equipment to put the big white M on the front of my shirt. When I got the package, I opened the package excitedly. I checked out every single item that comes with the package. I started this project in a classroom with my professor and my colleagues. My colleague Jake is a pro with Lily Pet Project. He provided tremendous helpful tips for us. He wrote down notes on the board and made sure we drew a circus chart for our project. I applied the computational thinking process into my project. I broke it down to the steps which I need for this project. Now I have the shirt which I'm going to put the light on, the lady pad kit, and a very important document as my friend Jake can emphasize enough. Chung chung chung, the circus chart. My next step was to talk to the computer and ask it to do things for me. To talk to the computer, I meant to code. Luckily, the professor provided some codes for us to borrow, so we did not have to write the code from the scratch. I altered the codes so I could get the effect that I want for the lights. And I also took away the sound effect from the original code. It took me several tries to get the result I wanted. Then I started to sew the parts following by the circuit chart onto a piece of fabric. Then I sew it to the inside of the shirt. After the sewing, I hooked the battery to the processor and voila! I have a blinking Halloween shirt! <laughs> <laughs>